Okay, so we got three traps in the opener. And, uh... Oh, that's good. Um, uh, this is... Fine. <clears throat> okay, so we go first. He probably doesn't have a way to shut this down. So let's go for that. Also, Brewer can be alternatively used. Or can be alternatively used to try to boost uh, value generators, making them uh, a little bit more resistant. In some cases, because you know that your opponent has like four damage. That's four damage, two damage, one damage. I suppose those are the most common. Of oh, five damage that's comes up. Right. Me, have got as well. Oh fuck, that sucks. Huh. A little bad. <laughs> uh, so we don't have a mover other than Brewer Hog. We can play the Elvis Swordmaster in the front. Swords I smile at. Weapons uh, let's just go with that. Did I change the title? I think I did. Yep. <sighs> I'm cried. I have to do that. Okay, we have multiple ways to approach the situation. Either we try to win round one. God speak to him. With a reasonable investment. Yeah, this is a bit tricky. So if we play Mahakam Horn, that that's just fine. We can play this for eight. And he's gonna be like, oh shit, what could that be? It would be a good time to play it when he is, uh... Yeah, he's just slowing down. He's obviously doing that. I don't know if we need the Vrihid Sappers. Obviously I can't pass. I think we need more points. So I'm gonna Mahakam Horn in the middle. We have the lead. And now we can represent 18 points. Plus, he's gonna go down by 2 in the next 2 turns. Wait, well, he could've used just used the hero power. Before. Now... If I pass... If I pass, he's taking one damage for sure, and I'm gaining eight points. But then Roach is gonna die as well, so he would need to play at least ten points. Well, not ten, because he can hear power once as well, so he would need to play... No, 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 that, that's not gonna be a thing. Right? Seems interesting. The problem is my follow-ups. They're gonna be a bit weak. So I just end up playing four. And another four. That's not gonna be great.
Well, at this point it should be pretty obvious what I got. But that's not good enough because I go up to 17. So, no cigar, mister. So, I guess he just... I'm not sure. Well, doesn't matter. I'm not sure why he's so keen to win round one. But this probably means he can push me round two. Which is pretty good. Um, this... Well, we should check the deck. We don't have Ragnarok. This would be nice with uh, Yorvet. Uh, that's a nice one to pick up as well. We don't want to, obviously, uh, draw into the traps. I'm not sure how many artifacts he could have. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go with the assumption that none. Because I think that's the the meta approach to crack currently. So we are throwing out this guy. For your vet! For your vet! I have to say the Ragnarok was a... I'm, I'm a... I'm a huge fan of putting in the Ragnarok because it does make us extremely strong in the long round. Okay. Now this is not... Terribly bad. Because we will get all the traps like this. This is pretty okay. Yeah. I'm into this. We will have all the traps and this is just fine. I have to go first, obviously. <clears throat> Good question, what are we doing? He does have... Uh, a Chironax. So we can go with like Elven Swordmaster. Let us sing the song of then steel. we can do Hawker Smuggler. Uh -huh. put our steel oh the fuck, best. of course. Uh. Well, he can crack too, so... Not much we can do. I'm just gonna just you, keep putting down guys and hope it works out. Oh, that's actually quite handy. So, Pavko Gale is most likely will not die. He doesn't have any rope reference. So, Pavko gets played. No. Okay. So I'm just playing the back. Um. Now the problem here is that he, the the last row is gonna get completely crushing trapped. So we should just hit the Marauder here. Uh. Yeah. I might even just end up using Bruver just to we try to save my... Way. What are you doing? Oh, he... Never mind that. He's uh, preparing for a horn. Because... Nobody. <laughs> uh, nobody's unique whatsoever. Hmm. It doesn't matter too much. So, I guess I'm just gonna... Keep playing my, my elves. This can be played later. Or I mean, what am I doing? He doesn't have a weapon. We can go elven scout. Let's hit that. We can technically hit the burner as well. We kind of want to play the crushing trap a little bit later. Heat Sapper. But this, he, there's no way he has a weapon. So we can go with this. I'm so tired. 
Alright, let's do that. Overall, this is not bad. After that, we're probably gonna go Elven Scout, Yorvet's Gambit. Don't know. Oh, now he's gonna get killed. In all likelihood. So, we can move him around a little bit. So he doesn't die. Well, the problem here is... <laughs> that, uh... Even if we save him, the Elven Scout will get it. So, <laughs> that's bad. But currently... I don't really need to move the enemies the last row. So maybe we do something dumb like that. And this maybe should save our guys. We gotta maybe your your with Gambit next. Well, we can we can CRN as well. We can KRN. Then Yorvet's Gambit. What I expected. But at this point, oh we wanna move his guy uh, to the back. And we gotta be careful. So he has a horn for sure. So we gotta play Yorvet's Gambit right now. Because he's only have uh, gonna have two guys. He does have a Demon Pirate Captain in all likelihood. And even with that, he should be able to kill me. Okay. So this can be played later. I can just put Kieran in the back. Well, I guess... Now the now it's gonna trigger pretty soon, so maybe just maybe just use the regular Kiaran. Yeah, yeah, we're just using regular Kiaran on like we we're using Kiaran on the on the onion guy, and uh, we're gonna move move it. And we can just hit the back. Oh, actually, I managed to hit the wrong bomb. Oh, did I fuck up? I think... Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Because they, they all take time to trigger. So, let's deploy. You have to replay the Pitfall Trap because that has no value. I fucked up by, by playing Kieran. Uh, later. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, it was it was weird. The, the, the order was a little weird. I can just uh, hold on to my Brewer for now. Whatever he has last uh, is just gonna get killed. What will you do? Oh, that's actually really good. So we can move Morgvark in the back, play the crushing trap, leap the crushing trap. 
And that's still good. Managed to be crack. Easy peasy. Even with fucking up. Very nice. GG. Can't hear less. Okay. Meave is gonna play a lot of ability cards. And I have one lock. I don't know. I don't think she has a... Yeah, we gotta be damn careful here. Okay, maybe go like that. <clears throat> hey Adam, what's up? Did you have a hearty hankering of, uh, for Gwent? Uh, I certainly did. I wanted to just uh, play like a, a... Just like some meta deck. Appearances but then I... I had... I, I decided that that's just... Just not good enough. Oh my god, it's annoying. <laughs> what is he gonna play? I hate that card. I don't like immunity. Any any kind of immunity is is uh is not something I like. I might just go and okay. What is he doing here? You know what? I might just pass round one. If he wa- Wait. I I'm kinda good in the long ground, he's good in the long ground, but... Okay, I'm just gonna keep my, uh, Kyoran. Start generating, uh, carryover potential. Um... Randomly. Yeah, that guy! Why not? He you can just move it Melee. Oh right, you're right. I'm dumb. The sign of a healthy mind. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry for not seeing that, but uh, definitely something to keep in mind for next time. That's kind of the issue. Like it not used to be like that. It used to be a six that worked on. Both rows, as far as I know. And now it's different. Which is fair enough. Okay, I'll just go with the Swordmaster. I think I'm not overly concerned about uh, his win condition. Especially if it's something like a Dragon's Dream. Well, Dragon's Dream Divaline could be huge. But I can move my own units. And uh, also can have Pit Trap. So that's kind of interesting. Which didn't help me much. Now he's he's somehow really wants to win round one. Like he, he's just spending like a lot of great cards. So do you guys know exactly what his finisher is? Because I, I have to think that it's like a Dragon's Dream uh, Hubert, something like that. Hmm. I think we should be able to trade Vrihit Sapper for just some trash. But I can also... Uh, justify passing, maybe. <sighs> the the prob well, it's not not problematic. We can just play this. I'm so tired. We can just follow it up with two cards. So this is definitely a good play. <laughs> but this Battles might be the last card we play. Well, he really. 
serious about winning round one. Okay, you got round one. I'm gonna give it to you. But I'm not exactly sure how you're gonna win the game. If he pushes me round two, it's gonna be a little awkward, I think. Probably Aquis Hubert or something. Yeah, we, we have some options, so... As, as tempting it was to um, start using it round one, I, I'm kind of like... I kind of have the long game in mind here. One thing we should have done is, uh, like, move his Avalok. That was a clear mistake, obviously. But other than that, I'm feeling uh, reasonably happy about this. Oh. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised if he passes. Yeah. Uh, it's a good question, what's gonna be a more valuable, an archer? I ended up having the archers in the deck, uh, because it is a pretty flexible unit, and it's uh, a perfect counter to Neckers. If you have this against the Neckers, which are pretty common, you can just uh, eliminate that card, which is just stupidly good value. But like, this is, this is like a 5 for 5, but... Does the, the flexibility itself, we can just take out a Drowner, we can take out a Necker. So it's pretty good against monsters, most of all. And even when it's like, it's like a 5 base that can be uh, so much better. But I think in this situation, it's probably uh, the worst. They can hide, but there's no escape. Uh, yeah, we could pick up some good cards. Hopefully we will. Yeah. That's good for last round. But also it's like... Eh. I think we might need to kick this. We might get the double trap thing. Yeah, we have to kick it for sure. And uh, your vet. A double trap. Perfect. Uh, we can start by boosting. I personally love the Hawker Smuggler. I think it's an excellent card. Uh, I'm a little surprised that not more people are using it. So, that's a bit weird. Didn't play a single uh, bronze round one, so you're good. Yeah, like he, he committed hard. I well, actually, he played a Sabrina as well. But I just played the thinners. I'm not overly concerned about that. Just Ragnarok it. Uh, a card that just really makes a lot of sense for this deck. <laughs> All right. Bring it on, Cahirless! Cahirless, the Nilf Guardian Lion. Why doesn't he have a Cahir? Okay, that, that question was a, was a... You know... I was really begging for that question, but... Come on. Okay. Um, how many cards he has to play in the range row? It's the Trebuchet. So, he does have a, a few units that he has to play in the range row. And that's definitely a very awkward situation. Because you are up against the Trap Rover. Why can't just move that in the back? Huh. But it can also just take damage. And that's good enough. I don't know, we might need... Uh, 
Oh, well. Okay. Fine. Well, realistically, we need to throw back Anna in the back. I think. We save the lock. Ah, oh, no. Only once. Oh, we can hit this guy. A little annoying to have him there. Uh, but let's just uh, play the Alvin Scout in the back. The... well, I guess we're gonna hold on to the pit trap. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Yeah, that has to go down. That is too damn dangerous. But he has so many units with abilities. Uh, that's why I have to wait. I must think of my the fuck. These dogs have no honor. <gasps> oh wait! Don't do with me. Fuck off! Why are you melee? No, no melee do up for you, man. It's Christ. Let's hit this guy. I'm using up the movement! Evening, Adam. Uh, semi AFK is playing another new act to try at the fun deck. Well, welcome to the stream. I made this deck. So. I'm actually a lot more excited to play it. I, I kind of... I wanted to play Brewer. Trap Brewer. Last time we saw it, it was it was, it was was kind of fun. And I, I checked out the Trap Brewer and had like a... Uh, uh, what? Wait, I, I don't know the... Well, the, it had the 8 point immune dragon in it. And it was all about like... Uh, using Chironax with uh, Unicorn. It was like... Uh, that's a little bit boring take on it. So I didn't want that. So we went with a pretty different approach. So let's do Jorvitz Gambit, I think. I gotta start playing the cards. Okay. Bring it on. Might not like me. You sure as shit need me. That's what I'm playing, but with Ragnarok. Well, guess what I got? Hmm? Ragnarok. Here we go. Well, I should call it Ragnarok. But like, it kinda of kinda of typed a little odd. Got 30, 10 in four or five hours. That's very promising. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> non boosted enemy to one. Does it matter? Okay, we gotta play the pit trap, I think. <laughs> Let me buy. Well. Again, it's a, it turned out to be a little awkward. But I like this a lot. A hey, Adam. Uh, Dwarf City, I see. 
is that? This is hilarious. Okay, guys. I found the deck that's the most fun. In a long time. I'm not afraid of a Hubert. I, he has no chance. This is awesome. This is great. GG. This is an extremely powerful deck. Well played. 